It's like deja vu. I don't remember this at all. Has it been refurbished? It's been bought by a chain, hasn't it? Part of that nationwide initiative to rob small, charming pubs of any discernible character. Starbucking, man. It's happening everywhere. Can't take away the smell, though. Sure they tried. Good evening, Raimondo. The prodigal son's return. Hi. Who's on the guest list tonight? Come again? The guest Aeos. We, sir, are doing the Golden Mile, and you have the honor of drawing first blood. <laughs> what do you recommend? And there's one. It's crowning glory. Rather fitting. How's that? I'm Gary King. What? So tell me more. About what? Crowning glory. Is it nutty? Is it foamy? Is it hoppy? Does it have a surprisingly fruity note which lingers on the tongue? Mmm. Spear. Mmm. We'll have five of those, please. No, sorry. Can we have four of those and a tap water, please? What? I don't believe this. A man of your legendary prowess drinking fucking rain. It's like seeing a, a lion eating some hummus. Doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. You seriously have a problem with me not drinking after what happened? I don't. But King Arthur does. Oh, this will be good. What's King Arthur got to do with it? Do you honestly think that King Arthur came back from the Battle of Hastings, fucking rocked up at Arthur's castle... Camelot. ...walked up to the bar and went, Hello, can I have a tap water? No, because they didn't have running water in Arthurian times. Exactly! He would have had a mead, the King Arthur of beers. And I'm less of a man because I choose to drink water. Well, it's a bit all ducky, isn't it? It's not very PC, Gary. Get out of the 90s, Pete. There is nothing all ducky about being teetotal. About walking into a pub after a rugby match and ordering a tap water at a bar packed full of big ugly bastards wearing war paint. That, my friend, takes confidence, yeah? I'm talking balls. <laughs> you said it, Puff. I don't know if you're aware of this, Gary, but we are not teenagers anymore. And God forbid you ever have children. You might have kids. Then you better be ready to take responsibility. No, I mean, I might have kids. You remember Karen Egerton, who I, uh, <whistles> fucked? She was two weeks late when her parents emigrated to Normandy. I never heard from her again. She might have had a baby. Imagine that. A French kid. It's pointless arguing with you. To kids, wherever they may be. Kids. kids. Drink up, let's boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs>